We're back here at Harding Stadium. Harding with a comfortable 55 to six lead over uh, Fairbanks starting the uh, fourth quarter. Harding will have the ball. Second and eight On at the their, Fairbanks uh, 26 yard yeah, line. 26 yard line. Well, you know, Coach, uh, it's obvious this late in the ball game in the fourth quarter with a running clock up 55-6. to six. The Prexies are most certainly going to win this game. And uh, I got to say, uh, you know, congratulations to the young men and the coaching staff who, uh, you know, there have been some rough times for Harding football here lately. But uh, it's good to see these boys and uh, these, these coaches go out there and play with all their hearts and get the win tonight. And to start off in the MOAC, 1-0. You know, hey, welcome to the league, boys. Well, it's a well-deserved win, and, and, a, and it's a big win for our uh, our, our program. Uh, Colin Hill, uh, outside gain of about nothing, so going to still be third and eight. Well, once again, we're probably going to see the Prexies here stay on the ground. You know, the last thing I know uh, Coach Brady wants to do is, uh, you know, run the score up. And, you know, obviously we want our, uh, we want our young men to get reps. And we want them to uh, get some game experience under the Friday Night Lights. But I'm uh, pretty sure we'll probably see some more runs here, Coach. Hand off Colin Hill. No, that's not Colin. That's number 34. I believe that is Jacob Furness. Absolutely. And Jacob's going to be ahead for the first down. It's a great run by that young man. Well, and that's what's impressive. When you when you get your younger kids in there that, that don't get a lot of reps during Friday night games, and now they're getting reps, and they're making the most of them. You know, uh, they're still playing against uh, probably a, a, a few subs in for Fairbanks, but they're still playing on a Friday night. Absolutely. I, I remember back when I played, before I started, I loved those games where we were up big and I knew I was going to get in the ball game. And there's Colin. And Colin ahead for about three. Well, you know, a kid like Colin, he's uh, he's a great running back when he's uh, when he's going north and south. You know, he's got to turn those shoulders upfield and just lower the boom and take it to those young men. Well, Colin's got a lot of power. Absolutely, he sure does. Once again, he's another uh, young man. I had the pleasure of coaching back in middle school. Just a great young man, involved in a lot of things, gets good grades. And Tyreek and Fairbanks don't see any penalty markers down. And they're going to take it back the other way. Scoop and score. Touchdown, Fairbanks. Well, you, you know, Coach, I didn't see that. Was that, uh, was that just a quarterback uh, exchange there? Just an exchange that we dropped and uh, they picked up, having to be in the right place at the right time. We know, unfortunately, those things happen, and I'm pretty sure right now uh, Tyreek and Colin are pretty upset with themselves. But, you know, those things happen. Mistakes happen. Looks like this time Fairbanks is going to go for the kick, Coach. Fairbanks kick is up and it is good. So with 9.55 remaining in the game, Marion Harding 55, Fairbanks 13. You're watching Marion Harding High School football, a Marion Harding High School telecom production. 740-223-0900. The Candy Shack and Cafe. Come in and let's make your life a little sweeter. Harding Center Apartments, located in historic downtown Marion, offers furnished and unfurnished units with one bedroom starting at $650 per month for a one-year lease. All utilities, basic cable, wireless internet, and modem included. Call General Manager Kate Fisher to set up a tour at 740-953-0196. The Marion Harding Center Apartments and more. Visit us on Facebook or Instagram today. Harding with the 55-13 lead over Fairbanks, 9.55 remaining in the game, and Harding set to receive the kickoff. Well, you know, at this point in the game, Coach, uh, onside kicks by um, Fairbanks aren't going to make much of a difference, but it'll be interesting to see if uh, if they try one. You know, Well, 
in this situation, I, I would hope that Fairbanks wouldn't try an onside kick. Obviously, you're not going to win the game, and all you do is give the other team a chance to uh, put the ball in the end zone, but it does look like they're set up for the, well, now they switched it a little bit. And sure enough, they do the onside kick. Gives Harding a chance to practice their good hands team. Justin Lovell on the recovery there. Harding will take over first and 10 at their own 49 yard line. 9.50 remaining in the game. You know, in a situation like this, I would like to see a young man like Colin Hill get the ball back and, uh, you know, get a little confidence back. You know, when you when you have a play like the one he just had, it's uh, it's easy to lose confidence. But, you know, that young man has to remember that, uh, you know, just go out there and keep trying to keep plugging away and good things are going to happen. Tyreek in at quarterback. Colin the tailback. Jacob Furnace the fullback. And Jacob Furnace the ball carrier going to – Dance his way to about the 46-yard line of Fairbanks. Gain of about five. Going to bring well, you out know, as, a, as a fullback, we'll take uh, we'll take five-yard five runs all night, Coach. Yeah, keep the clock running. Absolutely. Fairbanks has got a tight end wing down here. Colin now at fullback, and Colin going to get the ball. Going to be stuffed for no gain. Maybe actually a loss of a couple. Well, you know, that was just a uh, double A get blitz right there by Fairbanks' linebackers. They uh, obviously at this point, they know that the uh, Prexies are pretty much going to run the ball, keep the clock running, and, uh, you know, kind of allows their linebackers and their defense to tee off a little bit and bring the house. Going to bring up a third and eight at the 49 yard line. And again, I got to believe Harding would probably punt the ball on fourth down if they uh, don't get the first tier. Tyreek Harris in the shotgun, so could be passing. Oh, bad snap. See, those are the kind of things that you hate to see when your extras come in. Just mental mistakes that, you know, bad snap, uh, fumbles. And Harding is going to punt the ball away. Um, well, you know, and uh, you, you know, you got to so make the most of it when you come in from absolutely, the bench. Absolutely, absolutely. I know these kids are nervous; uh, they're anxious to get out there on a Friday night, and they are going to make some mistakes. It's just inevitable. But you know, the good thing is, though, Coach, like you said, those those young men are in there and they're getting experience, which is which is good for everybody. Nice punt, and a fair catch taken by Fairbanks at the 30, 20. 28 yard line. Fairbanks will have the ball first and 10 at their 28 yard line. And you got to believe Fairbanks is going to come out here and they're going to, you know, they're going to keep playing. They're going to try to score. You know, the I know the slant has worked for them a lot this game, so it's quite possible we might see a little bit more of that. Well, on Fairbanks, again, that, that's their offense. They're not going to steer away from their offense. That's all they do is, is throw the ball. And they're going to continue to throw the ball. And I believe a false start by Fairbanks is going to take them back five. They're going to be first and 15. Well, you know, Coach, as we mentioned, uh, Marion Harding has put in a lot of their uh, – a lot of their second teamers and their JV guys, and it should be noted that Fairbanks has done the same thing. Looks like a quarterback, we have number 80 freshman, Jacob Nichols. So basically what we got going on right here now is a JV game between these two teams. And he's going to keep and gets out to about the 20, maybe 29-yard line. So he, got the, uh, he got the five-yard penalty yards back. That was gonna tackled by Jacob nine. Furness as well. So, uh, young man's uh, getting some yards, running the ball, getting some tackles. Motion, handoff, little jet sweep, and cross mid to about the 34-yard line. Going to bring up third and about five. 
Looked like for the Prexies there, that was a tackle by uh, Colin Hill and Drake Fascione. Six oh one and clock is running. Panthers come out in trips. And Straight snuffing dive. that out right away by the Prexies is uh, number 77, none other than Cody Dye. Going to bring up a fourth and about five. And with 539 remaining, clock running, I believe Fairbanks. I think they're going to go for it, Coach. They're going to go for it. I don't know about you, Coach. I think I might be punting on this one. But you got to credit the Panthers. They, they, they're, they're fighting, folks. Quarterback rolls out to the left. Left-handed quarterback finds his receiver. Going to be right, a first well, down for Fairbanks. Shows what I know. They got a first down, Coach. And Drake Fassione on the tackle. Going to bring up a first and ten. Fairbanks at their 44-yard line. It's like Fairbanks going with the hurry-up offense here. No huddle. Number 44 for Fairbanks on the run there. No gain for Fairbanks. Jacob Furness on the tackle. Brings up a second and 10. High snap. Quarterback, Quarterback keeper on that one. And he's going to be across midfield to about the 49-yard line. He's going to bring up a third and about four. Fairbanks, we got him uh, there in doubles here, Coach. Oh, <laughs> tip ball and caught. Great concentration by the Fairbanks receiver. Looked like on the defense there for the Prexies was uh, number 12. Who is Drake Fascione. And that's why you got to knock the ball down or catch the ball. Absolutely. When you tip it, you're just asking for trouble. Great play by that young man. Great First play. And ten. First and 10 at the 34-yard line for Fairbanks. And a blitz. Great timing play, but they didn't make the tackle. And uh, finally, Prexy swarmed to the ball. Brought down after a loss of about four. Tackle by committee there. You see who that was initially on that blitz, coach? I believe it was Colin Hill. Oh, there you go. Great play by that young man. Good timing blitz. Clock is running here, folks. We got about, uh, you guys can see it on your television screen, but we have about three minutes left here. And, once again, uh, just just got to say, great game for the Prexies. I snap. Good to get back in the W column. Intercepted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Taylor Peterson with the interception. The same young man who uh, had great defense on that play earlier, but uh, gave up that long pass. That's a great, great bounce back by that young man and just shows that the most important play in football is the next play. Taylor Peterson with a great defensive play. Hardy will take over at the 29-yard line. First and 10, 247 remaining in the game. They lead 55 to 13. Well, Coach, you and I were talking earlier. Uh, I think this is the first time in, oh, gosh, I believe about five to six years that the Prexies are back in a conference, which means this would be their first conference win in five or six years. Trying to figure out that at halftime on our last uh, conference win. Got to be maybe Lima Senior. Yeah, I believe going it back was. Going to the uh, Greater Buckeye Conference. Absolutely, uh, the Greater Buckeye Conference, or as I like to call it, the Route 4 Conference, because boy howdy, did we drive down Route 4 quite a bit. Colin Hill with a gain of about a yard, gonna bring up uh, second and nine. 2.04 remaining, clock running. It's like the, looks like the Prexes are happy to take their time here. Play clock has not been started yet. Has been started now. Absolutely. 
Prexy's run to the line. Little miscommunication. It's like we got junior Tyree Harris at quarterback. Jacob Furness with the carry there. Jacob ahead for about another yard. You're going to bring up third and eight. Well, I think this this is probably going to be the uh, it's probably going to be the end of the game here. By the time they start the play clock and the Prexies get this get this run off, it'll be fourth down, and by then the clock will have wound down. And once again, I want to say congratulations to Coach Brady and uh, his staff, and most importantly, congratulations to these young men, fellas. Uh, you deserve it. Your uh, your town and your school are very proud of you guys. Great work tonight. Handoff, Colin Hill. Spins, breaks a tackle, and brought down for about a yard gain. Maybe two yards. Going to bring fourth and six. And I believe 34 seconds. Uh, you still might see one more play. It's possible. You got to believe the. Uh... Nope, you won't see another play. Well, that's it, coach. Welcome to the MOAC, Prexies. Congratulations. Great win for Coach Brady, his coaching staff, and the whole Marion City community. Your Wait. final score from Harding Stadium, Marion Harding 55, Fairbanks 13, and a must great victory for the Harding presidents. Way to keep you the are faith, watching fellas. Marion Harding High School football, a Marion Harding High School telecom productions. Thank you.